a very good afternoon to you um, I know we didn't plan this this life but um, I've been propelled by the Spirit of the Lord to come online to just briefly remind you of um, the meeting that we are having in Juaneng and this past few days if not uh, two past weeks the Lord has been really really ministering to me about genealogy and the importance of knowing who we are and the importance of knowing where we come from the importance of knowing our family lines and when I say knowing our family lines I mean really knowing your family tree and knowing the fullness of your bloodline and where you come from because a lot of what God is about to do in this season a lot of it hinges on your knowledge of who you are so it happens to be one of the things that God is going to be touching on um, during the service that we're going to have on Saturday in fact it's something that he's going to release not even to touch on it's something that he's going to be releasing uh, to bring us into the portal of truth to bring us into a space where the Spirit of the Lord will begin to give you understanding of things you otherwise would have never known about yourself that you would have never known about your family background that you would have never known about where you actually come from and just as I was prepping to uh, to come online and talk to you about this he reminded me of a word he gave me years ago and he's been bringing that word back over and over again to say kings are paupers kings are paupers in other words the enemy will always erase history to ensure that those that have people have no sense of understanding of what their inheritance is what god has for them what god has availed for them because of that you go about your life trying to make things work trying to uh, make waves in this world and make an impact and nothing is coming together not necessarily because you are not knocking on the right doors not necessarily because you're not doing enough but sometimes and majority of the times is because you don't know who you are and therefore your the, the the authority that you are supposed to be given by reason of who you are and where you come from you don't have it simply because your identity has been buried and god in this hour is resurrecting that which has been buried god is doing something that is going to blow our minds i genuinely believe that this is the center of this restoration and this revival that god is doing he started to speak to me about fatherhood and the importance of fathers and i believe this is something that he also spoke about the time i prophesied uh, not so long ago a word he gave at buan and i spoke about god raising bishops in this hour and the lord talking about the importance of fathers and how the hour has come now for fathers to take up their rightful positions in the lives of their children and to bestow a blessing upon their children i wish i could go into more detail about that in terms of the encounter i had with the father uh, a few days ago and i i was reminded of that word and i got to see the, the the seriousness of this thing and what god is getting ready to do he said a lot hinges in us knowing who we are and where we come from and that is what is bringing fathers into focus in this hour he said it's very important for us to know who our fathers are so get ready to see even in that area of your life being shaken i'm going to say something that is going to sound a bit controversial to some of you but the lord is saying even those of you who you have been told that someone is your father that is not your father and you've known them as your father for the longest time maybe your mother didn't really come uh come up right in terms of maybe they got it wrong or maybe they just decided it was not a good idea for you to know who your real father is so we're going to see god 
you know bringing certain things that have been buried in families uh, that we don't want to touch God is going to be touching on these things and we have to allow him to do that because when we pray to God majority of the time when God answers or when we are hoping for answers from God we are not expecting disruption but every time God comes to correct our lives to come and restore our lives there is bound to be disruption and this is one of those things and he's saying we are in that hour where he wants to reveal to many who their father is or who their fathers are because he as the father of all and as the father of glory he desires in this hour to bestow the blessing of the father upon us that we may prosper in that which he has called us to do so we have to understand why god is doing this so for some of you your situation is going to be very painful in the sense that some of you maybe you have seen or you you grew up knowing that someone is your father only for you to find out now that he's not actually your father somebody else is your father you passed away a long time ago and you are thinking to yourself maybe you know this word doesn't apply to me the lord is saying there is someone that i've ordained to father you and as you receive my word i am going to cause that person to bestow the father's blessing upon your life so this is one of the major major things that god is going to be doing on saturday here in journey we're, we're there right now we, we're coming to scout the land and to see and to also get an understanding of what the lord uh, wants to say and what the Lord wants to do on that day and the whole way as we were coming here the Lord was just talking to me about fathers and fatherhood and how he's restoring that relationship for reasons of releasing the blessing and he said we have no idea how much this is going to affect even the very thing that we are fighting right now he said even in terms of the war that is looming that the enemy was to bring upon humanity he says by reason of me restoring fathers i'm going to shut it down this is one of god's biggest strategies to restoring us as a people to restoring our communities to restoring our destinies to restoring our nations he said this thing is going to affect across all spectrums of influence from your family level to governmental level to uh, kings and to uh, influencers every single person is going to be affected by the wave of what God is doing in this hour concerning fathers so I personally invite you to this meeting it's very very important for you to come and receive that activation for God to begin to pull things together and bring the puzzles together in your life that you may come into the knowledge that you would have otherwise never come into of understanding your family line your bloodline your father and also understanding what you carry and the Lord is saying for some of you it's not even about your your immediate father your immediate biological father it's about your family line remember that david was from the messianic lineage but when we meet david we meet david as what as someone who was a shepherd he was someone who was taking care of sheep that's the kind of life that david was living at the time the kind of life that if today you were to tell someone that you know someone was to ask you what do you do for a living they're going to look down upon you his brothers on the other side were soldiers that means they had uh, positions that were reputable positions that were desirable positions that you know were respected during that time but david on the other hand was like a king who was a pauper at the time he was a king but he was a pauper he was a king but he was in obscurity he was a king but he didn't look like a king and he didn't live like a king until the appointed time of the lord and god started to move the chess pieces to make way for david to be able to ascend to the throne so this is a very pivotal season that we are in that many are going to miss unfortunately because they cannot perceive what God is doing in this hour but I'm praying that for every single one of you that gets to see this video God will speak to your heart and God will give you the importance of understanding 
why you have to receive his touch on Saturday for you to be able to come into this truth. And when I say his touch, I don't necessarily mean that I'm going to be laying hands on you. Maybe I'm going to be laying hands. Maybe I'm not going to be laying hands. One thing I know for sure is that God is restoring family lines. God is restoring family bloodlines. God is retrieving your inheritance that comes by reason of who you are. The Lord said we need to understand as a people that nothing we do is by accident. He, he said we need to understand something very important. That whatever God has ordained you to do is by reason of your bloodline. It's by reason of where you come from. It's by reason of who is your father. It's by reason of what bloodline, even from biblical times, you come from. Those are the things that actually contribute to your character. They contribute to what makes you tick. They contribute to what you actually gravitate towards as a person. So without the fullness of the knowledge of where you come from, without the fullness of the knowledge of who you are, by reason of your family line or your bloodline, you stay in a place of confusion and a state of frustration because you don't fit where you are your character does not fit with where you are or the opportunities that have been presented before you and it seemingly looks like you are asking for too much from life or you're asking for too much from your environment from your community from the people around you but it's simply destiny knocking it's simply your spirit man being frustrated because your spirit man is in full understanding of who you are and what you have been wired to do and to be but by reason of the fact that your mind is not yet privy to this knowledge then there is frustration there is war within your members but god says i want to bring this war to an end i want to reveal i want to pull away the curtains and reveal to you your true identity so the lord said we need to be ready for these things because even from uh big platforms even from you know people that we watch on tv even from influencers even from governmental officials and all of these things the lord said get ready to see shocking connections that's how he put it he said get ready to see shocking connections as i begin to move things around as i begin to align people with their true assignments and their true destinies i have to touch on this one i have to bring the knowledge of your bloodline i have to bring the knowledge of who has fathered who so we need to understand and also pray for god to help us and i even pray for my brothers you know when when somebody suddenly knocks at your door and says i'm your long lost daughter or i'm your long lost son you know don't be too quick to di to dismiss them at least have a dna test to find out if it's your child or not because that's also god giving you a chance for you to rectify things because this thing goes both ways these children that god is retrieving and and bringing back to their fathers and reconnecting with their fathers god is saying this is also an answered prayer for the father himself why because there is a blessing that comes with you blessing your children there is a blessing that comes because it's part of your assignment as a father it is your assignment to bestow the blessing that god has for his children that you have fathered in this world so every child that you have fathered god is giving you that responsibility in this hour to bless those children so i wish i could go into more detail about this but i'm going to do that on saturday it is a very very important word it is a very relevant word to our lives our everyday life in fact i believe that god is going to bring a lot of healing to families by reason of what he's about to do yes things may get heated up yes there may be some wars that will erupt in families by reason of what god is getting ready to do but everything that is about to happen it is leading towards healing he said i want to heal you i want to heal your family i want to heal your home i want to heal your life i want to heal your soul some of you you have the money as a man you have the money you've married the woman of your dreams you have children that are going to good schools and all of these things but you are not fully happy why because the spirit of god is bestowing that dissatisfaction in you by reason of the fact that there is still something that there 
are some unfinished business that God wants you to attend to. There is unfinished business that God wants you to attend to. And that unfinished business has to do with your children outside your marriage. And the way that God works is that, you know, these are such complicated situations that we find ourselves in because we are in a fallen world. Some of you, when by the time you got saved, you already had children all over the place. You know, you're not proud of your, what you did, but it happened. And the fact that you got married and now you have children within the marital home does not erase the fact that you have fathered children outside. They didn't bring themselves into this world. So there is a responsibility that you have towards those children. And God is saying, even if you don't give them money, the fact that you are the father, there's something I need to bestow upon that child to make them prosper. That requires your participation. That requires for you to bring yourself physically and speak life into that child and say, as your father, I bless you. Go and prosper in life. And the spirit of the Lord begins to give you utterance to know what to say to your children. Because guess what? Every single father has a prophetic potential. Every single one of them. You can even go back to the Bible and read. You will get to understand that before a man dies, he would call his children, gather his children, and begin to prophesy over their lives. Why? Because it is their God-given function to do that in the lives of their children. And whatever they will speak, it sticks. And that is what will happen in their lives. That means some of you, there are some curses you have spoken over your children that you need to reverse that you need to take back and bestow a blessing upon their lives so i'm personally very much excited i believe that that's not the only thing that god is going to be doing but it's the one thing that has he has been ministry to me day and night i've been trying to pray is the only thing that he keeps bringing back to my mind over and over and over again that fathers it is time to take your rightful positions. It is time to align with the will of God for your lives because your children now are in need of their blessing from their Father in heaven and you are the tool, the very tool that God wants to use to bestow that blessing. So if you have not registered, please do register while there is time and do make sure that um, you stay tuned online. We are going to, I think tomorrow, we are going to share the directions to where the meeting is, is going to be. Um, but just to give you an idea, it's going to be close to the old uh, stadium, the old council stadium. That's where we're going to be. So make sure that you register. Make sure that anyone you know that God is placing in your heart right now, that they need to come for this particular service. Make sure that you... And I also trust that by the time we meet on Saturday, you will get the fullness of the word and you'll also get the fullness of the impartation of that which God is doing. Personally, I'm so excited because I see the restoration. Here's the thing we need to understand about restoration. It's not an overnight thing. That's why I said everywhere we go, there's a piece of the puzzle that God is bringing together. And so I, I very much encourage you, if you are able to come for these meetings, come. It's not just a matter of us going across the nation, but it's a matter of you also being able to discern what you need to collect for yourself where God has uh, instructed or directed us to go at the time. And this one, I believe it's a word that applies to every single one of us. So I, I encourage as many of you as possible to make it to this meeting. God wants to open the vaults of your inheritance, the vaults of the wealth that he has preserved specifically for you and your family line. Like I said at the very beginning, the Lord said kings had been reduced to paupers. But now it's time for kings to rise to the throne and take up their rightful positions. God bless you and God keep you.